All right, so we're checking out the only game where you get to destroy brain cells around the world via the power of television programming. It's Empire TV. There's a lot of mods for the game. I like to put salt on my eggs, so I decided to download a bunch of mods. New game, damn it. Oh, there's a custom mode? Hell yes. Welcome to the beginning of such glorious television broadcasting companies such as the blue channel, the green channel, and the red channel. Oh, you can change these? Tell me you can change these. Oh, yes. The Viagra channel with, uh, Paul Thrustmaster. There we are. See, this sounds vaguely sexual, but it's not. It's a brand of, of racing, g gaming racing wheels, the Thrustmaster. Look it up, it's real. Victory conditions, I hate victory. What the audience likes and dislikes. What the hell is full random? Enjoy unlimited games trying to guess what your audience likes. So is this like a thing where like, children might like war documentaries or something? I, I totally want this. Want to be able to spend lots of money because that's fun. Special movie production enabled since day one. You can make your own movies in this game. Absolutely. Choose your channel's theme. Out of all these, I like game show. If you think about a game show, it has the most amount of flexibility because like Wheel of Fortune is a game show, but uh, The Hunger Games is also kind of a game show. So that works. You get some bonuses and minuses. I don't care. Tutorial introduction. How hard can it be? Oh God, one of the mods inserts like real movies. So they're all over the place. Does that say balls out? <laughs> I've never seen this, but from the, the, it, the box art alone, this is getting put on the schedule. So all this is random. So we have no idea who's going to like what, I mean, this has athletes and old men. I mean, th they have to enjoy balls out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Sure. You can go here. What the hell movies came with this mod? The hottie and the naughty. Oh my God. <laughs> Just the picture itself is almost demonetized. 2008. I could tell you right now. If this is out of a score of five, there is no way in hell that Dungeons and Dragons the movie got a 4.1. Nothing else fits here, so here's a cartoon. Cowboys and Aliens is one of those movies that deserves to have the late night low audience slot. Menta Spice Stay Fresh All Day TV ad. I'm gonna put this right next to Balls Out. That seems like it would make sense. Why is Silent Bob sitting outside of my office? I'm gonna have to pay a visit to him in a minute. You can buy a hacker as a worker. 20% less likely to be caught programming any illegal movie. Okay, now I really need to know what these illegal movies are like. Scriptwriter, huh? Sure, you're hired. Okay, this is like, this is a somewhat unlikely pair. We have a young, beautiful lady sipping a friggin' martini or something next to a red shirt having a Diet Coke with a, with a jug of popcorn. <laughs> next on the Viagra channel, <laughs> the apple. <laughs> Both of these people hate it. <laughs> Why is Johnny Five hanging around over here? Of course, Silent Bob is the illegal movie seller I should have known. The only place the exact same hand will give you a dime bag and a legal movie. It takes one hour to write an entire script? Okay. Buy and sell movies. Blubberella? Is this a tell, tell me this isn't a real movie. This looks like a real movie. An action comedy centered around an overweight woman whose footsteps cause explosions. God, do I own this already? I can buy it. We're not buying this. We're totally buying this. So it's between Aragon and Dungeons and Dragons the movie. I'm gonna keep Dungeons and Dragons the movie. All right, let's see what sort of illegal goods this stellar gentleman has. Here we go, the hateful eight. Okay, sure. <laughs> Come on, man. The perils in nude modeling, the teenage bride, and the erotic. <laughs> Uh, of course, there'd be a triple X section. Why? Why would there be? Oh God! I'll, I'm just gonna take all these. Why not? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna take all this too. It's just gonna be a lot of blurring. But I want to know what happens when you use them in the game. Didn't take long before this this guy's girlfriend left him. All right, we got a script here. It says in the red team we have an assassin coming from the firefighter station, and on the blue team a climbing instructor coming from the brothel. What the hell? The first. To complete the tasks to slap his mom and dad two times and to find a hidden treasure chest will win the game. The assassin and the climbing instructor both get the same score and both win so they have to share the prize. Washing machine? What? No. 
do it again. <laughs> All right, don't hold on though. We got we got two chances at this. We got another script that's ready over here from Morgan. Can, you have to have something better than that, right? It can't crap quality. <laughs> it just says crap quality. <laughs> Coming from the airport, an injured lurker and his old friend, a lawyer, will compete to win the game. The first to complete the tasks to... <gasps> what? It must be, I don't know, a live surgery, blindfolded, and survive a week in a deserted wasteland will win the game. Okay, I just looked this word up to make sure that I wasn't just a dumbass, and it says it's French. I think this is supposed to be perform. Do it again. <laughs> Clearly, this lady doesn't care about giving secondhand smoke to her friggin' dog. The dog's probably already dead. It looks like it's sleeping, but I'll bet it's it's either taxidermied or it's already passed away. I feel like I'm gonna need this because of all of the illegal movies that we have, so I'm gonna hire this hacker. Okay, two new scripts. How bad could they be compared to like? Oh, good quality. Fantastic. A chick Chicken sexer and an injured quarterback, both living at the same coffee shop, don't know each other, but now they'll have to comp <laughs> compete to become the victor. An injured quarterback completed the task to answer primary grade math questions without using the internet, and now it is the turn of the chicken sexer. The chicken sexer got first place and won a sack of potatoes. Of peanuts? While well, the injured quarterback only obtained a tablet as a consolation? Oh god, can I name this? This is the level that people have to be unsatisfied with their lives in order to be a part of this game show. Can I type stuff down? Oh my god, you can type stuff down here as well. In an end credits scene, both are swept away by the Thanos snap. All right, I guess we need actors. What do we have over here? Okay, how come Hugh Grant and Ryan Gosling take a hundred fame, but poor Mila Jovovich and Lindsay Lohan take zero. Matt Damon is zero as well. Matt, you can have Matt Damon for zero? Absolutely, I'll take Matt Damon. Matt Damon with supporting actress Pamela Anderson on Please Kill Me. The game show. These don't look like flattering pictures, I'd just like to mention. They look like mug shots. Ah, uh, I don't know if I want to make a, a long or a, or a regular. Let's go for mini, because I doubt this is going to be real good. How important it is to have famous people acting as secondary characters. I couldn't afford anyone besides Pamela Anderson. I think I'm just going to keep this at zero. Costume design. Hell yes. Eroticism. Hell yes. How important is the historical fidelity and realism? It's a freaking game show. Can I go into the negatives? Oh, two new scripts already. I freaking shudder to think. Oh, this one isn't that bad. It's it's the slap the mom and dad two times while the chicken sexer is asked to survive in an island full of cyborg dinosaurs. Where are we getting these from? Where are the cyborg dinosaurs coming from? You know what? Sure, we're saving the script. I wanted to put WTF did you right? You're fired but I can't fit the D in here. <laughs> when I said that, my wife just laughed. That was an unintentional, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Safe script. <laughs> How about you? Did you, what is with you and being unable to write a decent script and stop slapping your parents? You dismissed. All right, we need to go admin the TV schedule over here. I got all kinds of new movies to throw on for tomorrow. We're behind in the fame meter but it's not gonna stay that way. All right, I'm putting the hateful eight right over here. And late at night, we're gonna trade out wild things for the teenage bra. <laughs> All right, we got the script here for Glad You Came. It says, a divorced public relations executive and a former professional foosball player must compete for the prize. They must survive on an island filled with duplicates of Jack Nicholson, obsessed with slaying the contestants and utilizing their intestines as jump rope. Both contestants die, and Jack Nicholson gets two new jump ropes. The end. Please save this. A friend of the girlfriend of your stepbrother has heard that the vampire fashion is coming back. Would like to make the necessary changes for $5,000 and add some kind of vampires to your movie. Of course, of course we would. Why wouldn't we? That rumor is false. It seems that the zombie fashion is the one returning. God. All right, we got a brand new script here. This one's a very good quality. So I definitely want to keep this one around. Oh God, the production is finished. Here we go. Wasn't as bad as chicken is true love. Great story, cliche script. Can't believe that the chicken sexer was Matt Damon. <laughs> I didn't buy the injured quarterback role because I felt something was missing. What was the resource director thinking when he was signing checks? I don't know. Matt Damon, performance, bad. Still though, Please Kill Me got a 4.5. 
that ain't that ain't terrible all right for choke all chickens oh we can have like two of my heroes john cena and steven seagal oh we have danny devito too okay hold on uh the metal guitarist is gonna be <laughs> danny devito and the delivery boy is gonna be john cena okay we've got a masterwork quality script i call this one cliffbanger see how it works is the, the two the two individuals take turn driving cars off of cliffs until one of them dies or we run out of cars or we run out of cliffs i don't really know how big our budget is on this okay i'm hoping that they die first john cena plans to go to a big party and notifies you to go too although the entrance cost is quite expensive every single time i've clicked on yes for these something bad has happened but it's not gonna stop me from keeping clicking yes john cena says that it was the best party ever oh and they had so much fun together however dan devito didn't know about the party and was disappointed i got more people watching freaking cowboys and aliens than i did my main shows i'm not really sure how we managed this but we've actually caught up with the other stations. I think it's just due to the random ass audiences that we're getting. I just noticed that Captain America and S.H.I.E.L.D. is down here. Oh, I can finally get Please Kill Me in here. Hold on. Ben 10, you're out of here. Please kill me. Get up in there. Oh, hell yes. Who's at the top now? Freaking Viagra channel. That's who. Oh, look at how many viewers. Hell yes. Illegal movies is the way to go. Look at this. Freaking cockatoo comes on. This girl is so unimpressed. You don't, you don't even know. None of you are going to read this script. If you decide to act for me, your life is forfeit. I'm going to call this one the last Fortnite. You've written a lot of game shows. You may write a sporting event now. Oh. The production is done. I can't wait to see what the scoring is on this. Here we friggin' go. New were the cameras the achievement? Hey, this isn't so bad. I expected more from Danny DeVito, didn't we all? Wasn't as bad as a clockwork banana. You know what, 6.3? I'll friggin' take it. Oh, I can submit Choke All Chickens to the movie awards. Sure. I'm not gonna lie. I really want Blubberella in here. I need to get her somewhere. We're gonna put her in the early morning. Put Choke All Chickens in there to see how much everyone likes that. Teenage Bride, you go way down here. Oh, Please Kill Me is on. It's got 137,000 viewers. I wonder how both men and women feel about it. Okay, I'll take it. An arms dealer believes a cheerleader has a promising future and decides to train him for the next game. They learned that at the mini golf, a game of football will be celebrated with a bag of candies as the prize. So both decide to participate. The arms dealer and the cheerleader get the same score and the game ends in a draw. The victorious team will be decided in a new game of baseball. This is the most redundant script I've ever heard in my life and it's a masterwork script. The twist is everyone is wearing mono kinis. There we go. Now that's an appropriate sporting name. All right, for the mono kini, Nicole Kidman or Matt Damon. Kidman, Damon. Yeah. Okay, the game really didn't want Damon in a mono kini. What is this? Under arrest. The Viagra channel blocked by illegal content. No. Punishment for illegal content. $90,000. God damn it. All right, Cliff Banger. This was a masterwork script. Oh my God. Look at this. An 8.4, 8.1. Well spent resources for the low budget. Danny DeVito deserves a blank check. An eight, boys. There you go. Choke all chickens is out of here. We're going with Cliff Banger for this one. Uh. Actually, you know what? I'll put choke all chickens up here. Two episodes of Cliff Banger. Paris Hilton and Pamela Anderson both star as the hairdresser and the climbing instructor in I Don't Even. Okay, I've gone to jail several times at this point, but luckily, Cliffbanger is up now, and hopefully, it's gonna get us some points. Never mind, Cliffbanger didn't do very much. Suicide Squad, though, is raking in the viewership. All right, we got the most deadly game over here with more Jack Nicholson. A nephew of yours just finished a correspondence course on how to be a good director, and he says he could help you improve your movie. I will never decline any help. I've decided this now. I'm just going to click yes to everything from now on. This is a moment in movie history where everyone agrees that Paris Hilton was the better actress compared to Pamela Anderson. All right, we've got some problems here. I'm running out of freshness for movies, so I gotta start putting pornography up. I'm buying all these ads. I don't know if this costs something or what, but I want them everywhere. We've got a brand new masterwork quality sporting <laughs> script. And for the cheerleader, we have 
John Cena. And for the farmer, we have supporting actor Warwick Davis, baby. Oh, everyone loves Cliff Banger. Look at the viewership. Almost 400,000 views. Well, the ratings for drunk, drunk cheerleading just came in. And some sick bastard said, I fell asleep after watching Warwick Davis for 10 minutes. You cut your own tongue out, friends at the cinema. Cliffbanger, 760,000 viewers. If there's one thing people love watching, it's people that's not them driving cars off of cliffs and killing themselves. I've been arrested so many times at this point for having inappropriate content. We're still in second place. Like, that's the thing that blows my mind. I've put so many, like, X-rated movies and, and pirated movies on the air. We're getting 400,000 viewers. And we're still beating the friggin' green team. That's Viagra for you. You can't keep us down. Anyway, folks, that's gonna be it for this episode of Empire TV. I just realized that when you stand next to Silent Bob, he's got his coat open and he's only in his underwear. <laughs> Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.